Hello everyone and welcome. Happy to have you here. In this video, we will be learning about why you might be receiving a dependency error when trying to import your Power App solution to another environment. When it tells you that it is missing things, that usually means that you probably developed something outside of the solution and just need to add it to your project solution. Let's get started to see what that looks like. So the first thing I want to do is ensure that I have two different environments to be able to import the solution to the other environment. Right now I just have my basic environment. So I'm going to travel to this little gear icon at the top and go to the admin center. In the admin center, I'm going to go to environments. Usually when people are doing this, it's usually moving it from a dev environment to a UAT environment and then to a production environment. And there might be one in between there for um, the SIT environment. So I added a UAT demo trial environment because um, this developer tenant does not have the capacity. So what I did is, get, is I gave it a name and I chose the type trial. So I can only have this for 30 days and I clicked save. Once that's been added, navigate back to your maker portal and go to your refresher screen and go up to environments here on the top right. And you should see your other environment down here. So next, let's create a solution and add a few entities to that solution and leave out a choice field that is being used in one of the forms. We'll export that and try to import that to a different solution. So I'm going to use my student solution as the example for this. In this solution, I have a few fields. Specifically, I'm looking at the student type choice field. I have added this to the main form. And we're going to create a new solution and add this table there. So we'll go ahead and click on add existing. We'll click on table, search for my student table. Click on next. I'm going to select my objects because I don't necessarily want all of them to be added. So I will add the student ID. So we'll go ahead and click on add existing. We'll click on table, search for my student table. Click on next. I'm going to select my objects because I don't necessarily want all of them to be added. So I will add the student ID and I think that is it. Oh, the name. And I'm going to purposefully not add the student type. I'll click on my form, my main form. I want to bring that over and my main view as well. Once that's been added, I'm going to click on Publish All Customizations. And I'm going to go ahead and export this solution. Once that's done publishing, I'm going to go over to my Overview tab. I'll click on Export. I'll skip the Publish step here since I've already published. In this demo, I'm going to export this as unmanaged, but if you're bringing it to a UAT or production environment, please make sure to select the managed solution since you don't want anybody going into the solution in those other environments, trying to edit things in any of the entities. It will mess things up when you try to deploy it again to those environments from the development environment. When that's done exporting, you'll see this green tab here at the top and you'll click on download. I'll open the folder so that I can see where it exported to. 
then we'll go into our other environment so i'll click on the environment tab here at the top i'll go into uat demo i'll go to the left in solutions i'll create create my database you won't have to do this if your environment is already set up so once my database has finished provisioning, I'll see a bunch of sample data here inside of the solutions tab. I'll click on import solution. I'll browse and open my downloaded solution from the other environment. You'll see it getting attached here and I'll click on next. So as you can see here, this is the missing dependency error that you might be seeing on your end signifying that we are missing something from the solution and we're not able to move forward. I can go ahead and click on show dependencies and it'll tell me exactly what I need to add to that solution in my other environment to be able to import the solution in this environment. It looks like it is a few columns, uh, including that choice field student type. So I'm going to go back to my other environment. I'll take a screenshot of this so that I can reference it when I go back to my other environment. All right, back to the first environment inside of the student to UAT solution. We're going to go ahead and click on add existing. We'll click on more choice and we'll look for that student type field. We'll add that. We'll also add the model driven app to this and some of the missing columns. So within the student table, we'll add existing and we'll select the student type the state code was missing, the owner ID, and the created on. I'll click add. Once those have been added, added, we'll have to start the export process again. So we'll go back over to overview and we'll click export. This time we will publish since we didn't take that step before exporting. I'll click next, unmanaged. You'll see that the version went up by 0.1. All right, so we'll try this one more time. We'll go back to the other environment. We'll click on solutions. We'll click on import. We'll select our solution, click next. The dependency error is no longer there and we'll click import. 